I took a piece of yellow pad on a flight and I wrote down everything anybody ever said that offended me, upset me, pissed me off, hurt me, those comments. Matt, I'm writing this down and I'm on fire and I'm getting emotional. And I'm just writing it down and I'm writing it down and I'm writing it down and I'm writing it down. Imagine you start your day reading those 10 affirmations of what people say about you. <laughs> your day starts slightly different, yeah, right? Yeah. And you know, w when we're with Dana, and I'm sitting with Dana three days ago in Vegas, we're in his office, a 30 minute meeting turns into a two hour meeting. And I say, Dana, I got a book coming out at the end of the meeting. You know, he said, why are you, why are you here? He said, well, I got a bunch of meetings I'm doing for a book tour for Penguin. What's the book's name? Choose Your Enemies Wisely. He said, that's the name? I said, yeah. He said, the book's name is Choose Your Enemies Wisely. He says, yeah. I said, yeah. He says, look behind me, he's pointing. I'm like, if you want me to tell you what he had on his wall, it's a picture of two, anyways. I, I got you, I got okay. you. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, you all, I've already seen that picture. He says, no, no, this here. So I come to the side, I'm like, what is he looking at? What's he talking about? He's got a quote on the wall, and it says, may God have mercy on my enemies because I won't. Mm. When I tell you on the wall, it's like massive on the wall. May God have mercy on my enemies for I won't. I said, can I take a picture with you? There we go there. He says, you know who said this? I said, who said this? I said, a military guy? Is it a president? He says, no, it's military. I said, is it Ike? Is it Alexander? Is it Patton? He says, it's Patton. Patton said the quote, right? Then I said, you know, you got a quote in the book. He says, really? I said, yeah, you got a quote in the book. He says, what, what's the quote? I said, well, it's the quote where you say, effing yeah. yeah. bet against me. Tell me it's not going to happen. Tell me it's going to fail. I love it. I love every minute of it, right? I played that on repeat. Mm -hmm. I love every minute of yeah. it. We're sitting there talking, and, and then he's explaining this stuff. And you look at Dana, what do you think about? You think about a guy that chose his enemies wisely 20 years ago, you know, when he chose to be the best commissioner in sports during COVID where you couldn't play sports here. Yeah. And he goes to Abu Dhabi and the only thing that we can watch on TV was UFC. UFC sure. blew up during COVID, right? Yeah. He so went to, He went to Jacksonville, right? He went to Jacksonville because there was a conservative. That's uh, right. Yeah. Yes, he did. That's, that's right. Mayor. And by the way, he talk, we talked about yeah. that. And DeSantis also talked about that. But the, the point being, if you, if, you, if you have the privilege and the honor of being offended the right way, Man, if somebody offends you the right way and you know how to use it and channel it, because one of two things is going to happen, okay? I've had, I've had a list of people that have said things about me, but one of the guys once said something about me. I sat there and I said, if I don't do anything for the rest of his life, he's going to tell everybody he was right. There's no way that's going to happen. There's no way it's going to happen. So if you don't do something about it, they were right. Yeah. But if you do something about it, you were right. How does that drive you? Does it move you? Does it do anything to you? Yeah. If it does, you're going to get willpower. Yeah. Yeah. If it doesn't, forget about it. I'm at UCLA Medical Center. My dad's in a hospital bed. He had a heart attack. They're not even taking care of him. I'm in the car crying like a little baby in the Ford Focus. And I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I don't like the way they're treating my dad right now. I don't like that. Then we go to a Christmas party at 25 years old with a bunch of Assyrian relatives, great people. But one of the guys made a sarcastic <laughs> comment about my dad. It was so subtle, Matt. If I tell you how subtle it was, it's, you're going to say, that's what offended you? He said what he said, and all I looked at is my dad's face. And I just saw my dad go a little bit from this to this. Okay? You get what I'm saying? Huh. He went to this. Huh. And I said, yeah, okay, no, we're leaving. He said, what do you mean? I said, we're leaving. We're not leaving. We're, we just got here to the Christmas party. I said, no, we're not, we're not staying. We're leaving. And the guy standing in front of us, listen, so what are you talking about? I said, we're leaving. It's my family. We're here. It's the Christmas. I brought you. I said, no, we're leaving. We're not leaving. I said, Dad, I'm your ride. We're leaving. He's embarrassed. Obvious reasons. He says what he says to everybody. Hey, boom, we leave. Fight me all the way to the car. We get to the car. We get in the car. I said, no one will ever talk to you this way ever again, especially these people whose lives you changed. You're the kind of friend every man needs to have and wants to have. They trust you. You are very fair and straight up with these guys. That's what he wants to say to you. No problem. 30 minutes, I'm screaming in the car. I'm so pissed. 
I called my sister and my brother-in-law, Siamak. They come out of the house the next day, Sunday. And I made a promise. I said, Dad, they're going to have to kill me, but the world is going to remember your last name, Ben David. And on top of that, they're going to remember how great of a father you've been to me. Because it's going to get to a point that when you go out, anybody and everybody that knows who I am, they're going to tell you how great of a father you are. So watch what happened last week. My dad goes in the hospital because he needs to do another angiogram. The surgeon, the doctor, comes in to do the angiogram on him. He was <laughs> in the hospital for five days, not feeling good. The doctor comes in and he says, I know who you are. He says, really? How do you know who I am? He says, two reasons why I know who you are. One, because your son always talks about you. <laughs> he says, but two, there's only one other nose I've seen like that. <laughs> and it's Patrick B. Davis' nose. And my dad's telling me this, and he's laughing while he's telling me this, right? But it was a promise I made, and I'm going to continue to make, until the day I die, that's going to be taking place. What happened? One man makes a comment about my dad, and my dad's body language changes, and I'm off to the races. So you can call it whatever you want. I couldn't say, wow, I've always had willpower. No, willpower is here. Someone's got to bring it out. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.